Hi everyone, it's me again. I am back as promised to introduce you to my little ACCer, Layla. She's smiling at me right now in her little jumper. Um, so uh, previously in my earlier video, I had gone over how we had found out about our precious little Layla in regards to her having a genesis of the corpus callosum, meaning she's missing the central fibers in her brain that connect the two different hemispheres for communication purposes. Um, so, um, I guess, I don't know if I need to explain a little bit further since the first one, um, well the first one was kind of, the first video was in regards to whether or not to continue with the pregnancy, it was a hard decision. Doctors still don't know much about how this will affect the outcome of a person. However, this um, technology, um, or I guess finding this part of the brain that's missing has only just recently come up um, in technology since I want to say 2000, 2000 2003, um, during the anatomy scan. Um, it's the septum patuli, uh, it's in the first video, and I have it written down somewhere, but I cannot remember what it's called. But it, they're looking for something in the brain, and once they can't find that, they send you on to some specialists because um, other abnormalities may be detected. So, we found out that she is missing her corpus callosum, which it's called, it, it's named both things, the genesis or a genesis of the corpus callosum. Um, I actually just finished um, a survey um, because we have enrolled Layla into two longitudinal studies um, um, for the purposes of helping other mothers out um, years down the road. Hopefully they'll know a little bit more and they won't give them such a doom and gloom um, diagnosis and um, scare the bejesus out of people. Um, so you wanna meet Layla. She is now 23 months old this coming week and five months old as of last week on the 22nd of May um, and is just as normal as ever. You would never know that there was something missing in her brain when you meet her. Um, and so far she is hitting all milestones that she is supposed to. So one second, I'm going to get her. I was off camera. Hello, Layla. Oh, just a baby. Ooh. So this is Layla. Turn you around. She is as beautiful as I have promised. And she has learned to absolutely work the camera. Say hi. Say hi. Um, so, let's see. I'll talk about how she is doing. Um, Layla came out looking like any other baby. We did have um, a couple, I think, respiratory therapists and perhaps the NICU on standby during our, our natural or unmedicated vaginal birth. Um, she had a very strong heart beat all the way through, and um, she came out just perfect as ever, as anyone, no one would have suspected. She got a an 8-9 on the APGAR. Um, we only spent about 24 hours, maybe 48, in the hospital um, when she was born. Um, she's very vocal. She knows exactly what she wants and what she does not want. Um, she 
just started sitting up on assisted last week. She is a little bit more, she's a little tilty. Um, she hasn't quite got the strength yet to completely catch herself um, and keep her from doing the face plant. So I do have to look after her a little bit. If I'm in front of her, I usually use uh, the boppy to catch her if she goes back down. But so far, so good. Um, she can roll and started rolling from stomach to back at 19 weeks. Um, she hates tummy time, so she has now no reason to go from back to tummy. Um, it's something that we have to work on, but she pretty much, um, she gives us some attitude. And so we're trying to figure that one out um, little by little. Um, and it's kind of hard because when you put her on your her stomach, you kind of have to you have to trick her into not being able to roll over because she's just so good at it now. Um, she's so with the corpus callosum missing, we are very um, when I say we, me and the early intervention people with our physical therapist, um, we are concerned about crossing the midline. Apparently, it is a big deal to go from my left side, crossing my center over to the right and bringing it back. Um, that's showing that you're, woo, I gotta catch her, She's, she goes down so quickly. Um, it's showing that the brain is um, making the different connections. Um, and that's what we're trying to do right now is we're aiming to rewire her brain. Um, as it was explained to me, people with the corpus callosum, we have a bridge that um, sends communication back and forth. Um, so it's very quick. And the difference is she has a river for the communication to swim across in order to, um, to get messages back and forth. So maybe with the only way I can paint this picture is if we work enough with her, we can build maybe little foot bridges out of ropes and wood for her communication to go back and forth. Um, and if I'm a good enough architect, perhaps I can make some really good Brooklyn bridges or Manhattan bridges for her. Um, so it's just all things that it's going to take constant upkeep, I guess. Um, so she will, she crosses it sometimes. What we do is I'll hold on to one hand and have her, see she's just crossing her midline now, come and grab it and then give her her toy. Um, it's wonderful and I guess a milestone for every baby to take that toy take it into the other hand and if she's going to do it for us this time, transition the toy to the other hand. Um, that's a big milestone for our physical therapist. She didn't do it this time. She did it in another video before, but let's see if she'll, we'll see how she plays. Um, also quite normally you offer them one toy which they reach to grab at this point in time. Oh, she might switch hands. And she did. Um, now we go to offer her the new toy. Although, ideally, she would still have the same toy in her hand. First toy in the hand. Second toy. Oh, now we're going to forget about the second toy. Or maybe we'll keep them both. Nope. Well, Whatever, she did it for physical therapy. <laughs> so, anyways, she picks up toys. Um, she found her feet. She loves those. Also, another milestone for any young mothers who this is your first. Um, and all in all, she is just doing really well. I mean, from being told that she may not be compatible with life to having a healthy, beautiful baby that's hitting all, um, hitting 
milestones and just hitting it out of the park. This is something that I just wasn't sure where we were going to be um, for her. So, um, so yeah, it's been it's been a hard journey. I would say in emotionally. I almost wish that I didn't know what she had um, because I do feel like it put a very dark cloud for my third trimester and the birth. You know, as soon as she was put on my stomach, you're, you're promised if you do an unmitigated birth that you'll have the oxytocin, the rush of love hormones, and perhaps other complications that I had um, having her. Um, all I had was anxiety. It was, it felt very surreal to have gone through the birth process. Um, and then to look up at her, it, I had probably a lot of anxiety and the hormones didn't help. There was a lot of depression, um, postpartum. Not postpartum depression, that would have been more severe and I didn't need medication. But I worried about her future. She looked so perfect and only I, I mean me and my family, but walking around in the world, only I knew that she was special in her own little way and it hurt. It hurt a lot. And I, um, I continue to worry about the future. I think I always will. Oh, I have to put the baby um, Because, you know, like as parents, all we want is for our babies to be happy. Hi, sorry. Um, Layla ended up needing a nap. That's what she um, was getting fussy for. So I just wanted to put sort of um, a bookend to my last um, video. Um, so that was lovely, Layla. Um, the next video I would like to um, kind of discuss some of the helpful resources that I had found um, along my little journey. Um, and then um, I think I'll, I'd like another video where I discuss the decision of how we went about um, finding out more information about Layla's condition and since the doctors had offered um, us to terminate um, where we stood on that decision and how, how we finally came to the conclusion of um, of continuing with the pregnancy um, and that's it what I'm I'm hoping to get out of all of these videos is that um, any moms any future moms who end up um, sadly hearing the same news that I got um, I, I just hope that this this helps maybe ease your mind or helps you make your own decision of what you what next steps that you will take um, I just I wish there had been more out there for me and I still wish there was more because um, there's still so much that we don't know okay um, hope you have enjoyed meeting Layla thanks